Welcome to the School of Labor and Urban Studies. My name is Crystal Joseph and I coordinate the Community Semester Experience. Since the launch of the program in the fall of 2015, our students have done some outstanding work with community-based organizations that demonstrate the need for effective urban planning, urban sustainability, leadership development in our local communities. Community semester interns have had the advantage of using social justice movements, access to government agencies, and the support of community-based organizations to leverage their activism, voice, and shape change in New York City. I welcome you to learn more from our fall 2020 cohort. Hello, and welcome to this little zoom in about the community semester program at the CUNY School of Labor and Urban Studies. My name is Matthew, one of the semester cohort this year. Um, so yeah, like I mentioned, I intern at Community Voices Heard and they are an advocacy group that mostly works with tenant rights, especially during the pandemic. There's been a lot of focus on um, evictions and tenant protections. So my day-to-day -day usually looks like making a list where I can kind of separate my schoolwork from my internship work. And then when I have both, I can see if there is any overlap. I'm working at GOALS, which stands for Good Old Lower East Side. Um, they're an organization in the neighborhood um, that's been working for over 40 years. Uh, providing direct services and doing tenant organizing, um, especially against gentrification. So I've been uh, doing outreach to the gardens, um, making a lot of calls, um, and our goal is to have a resource that has information about all of them so that people in the community know how they can get involved. Um, I'm also working on the annual report for the organization, um, which has changed a lot because of COVID, so we're sort of incorporating um, everything that we've uh, been doing during the pandemic. Um, and then I'm also working on a community-led planning project, um, doing research on uh, fights that are going on in the city um, against uh, things like rezoning. Thanks, Luke. So I'm interning at Bronx Connect, as I mentioned, and which is the only alternative to incarceration center in the Bronx, uh, as well as other cure violence, and they also host other cure violence programs. Um, my, I'm interning as a youth organizer, so a typical day for me depends on which day of the week it is. Uh, I generally do a lot of youth outreach and prep for a youth advocacy group I've been co-leading. I'm also working on a campaign launch, which uh, requires doing research, attending meetings with partners and various coalitions. My project for this semester is um, I wanted people to be able to understand um, how COVID-19 is not only affecting students and parents, but teachers as well. Um, school closed pretty abruptly back in March and a lot of things were all over the place for everyone. And a lot of people felt like educators just wanted, you know, time off and not to report to work every day. And that is the furthest thing from the truth. Um, we care about our students, we love our students and we want to see them succeed. And um, we had no control over COVID and we had to learn things quickly in order to help continue the student's education. So my project is basically helping others to understand what we all have gone through in the education system due to COVID-19. I feel like the professors are really understanding um, their, they, they have knowledge and they're sharing their knowledge and expertise with us. And it's helping me to not only become a better educator, but also to, you know, start another dream of mine, which is to have my own Nonprofit youth and community development organization. So I do intern for a public school in New York City named Cranes High School. I have created a college access art club for all grades, freshmen to seniors. So my project is to research and analyze best affordable colleges to best fit art students. I intern at Snug Harbor Cultural Center Botanical Garden. So community semester has been a really exciting opportunity for me because I had entered with Stuck Harbor in the past and I had worked for them as a visitor service coordinator, oh sorry, visitor service associate. And so having this opportunity to work with them again in this completely different environment has been really exciting. So I've been working with our volunteer coordinator to construct a youth volunteer initiative at our site. So the goal of the program has been to empower our young volunteers to treat them as future leaders and advocates and environmental stewardship. So 
helping instill in them different skills and practical knowledge about sustainable farming, wetlands preservation, parks management, horticultural, and anything else that you name. We have a lot of different opportunities at our site. So it's been really exciting to move away from visitor services and actually have an independent project that also utilizes what I'm learning at community semester to help create this program. Okay, so I work for New York City Housing Authority and I also interned there. And I had the privilege to work with Deputy Director Bruce Eisenberg, who's in charge of restoring art and public housing. And we were working on the walls of Jericho from an artist from the 1938 um, Harlem Renaissance, Mr. Richard Barté. We were restoring his wall of Jericho. My placement is with the Restorative Center. We are working to advance restorative justice through the practice of circle facilitation. Um, our current focuses are clemency and parole, and also alternatives to school suspensions. 